Everyone get out! Hello tankers and tankettes, welcome to one of my lesser seen medium tank replays. I don't do mediums that often, but I thought I'd show you guys this one because it's the Ram 2, and it was my ace tanker game in the Ram 2. It's not a tank you see very often, and I think that's because of all the premium mediums, it's probably one of the least exciting, maybe up there with the Panther M10. It's not a bad tank, there is one fly in the ointment however, and I think a lot of people see the gun and they think, meh, okay, it's just a bad Sherman. It's not even a bad Sherman, it's a, a, a bad M7. And if you think of it in those terms, then yes, it is a bad M7. But if you think of it in other terms, if you think of it as being a more mobile, smaller Churchill 3, which with this armament, you know, it's a British six-pounder gun, even though it's on the American tree, because it's actually a Canadian tank. Um, if you think of it as being a, a pocket Churchill 3, then you probably will have a lot more success with it. The big fly in the ointment though, as I've said, is the fact that unlike a lot of the mediums with weaker armament, it gets regular matchmaking for a tier 5, so it can see tier 7 tanks with the 6 pounder gun, and that is not terribly fun. If it was like the Churchill 3, if it got um, limited matchmaking, uh, oh, a bit of frame rate derp there, I don't know why, I think that would make it much more popular, but as it is. So, it's Comrin, and I'm top tier, which is kind of what you want to be with this gun. Tier 6 is doable, but you really don't want to be tier 7. Two enemy heavies plus T-34, yeah. Okay, let's retreat. No point in hanging around here. Now, if you're thinking, deja vu, didn't I see this in the KV-13 replay? I think the KV-13 game was probably still reasonably fresh in my mind when I was playing this game, so I thought, okay, let's try a similar strategy. Let's withdraw to the rock in the cap circle and see if I can't um, spot stuff, because you see that I've got binoculars. And this is actually a fairly good crew in this as well. So um, I, I, I fancied my chances, basically. The, the T-46 is being sensible, he's falling back. T-34 is, well, he never really went over anyway, but... The T28, SU76 and the 3A all just got wiped out because it was three top tiers. So there was no point in me hanging around there. This is not really a tank you want to be facing. You don't want to be playing head-to-head -head against enemy same tier heavies, much less higher tier heavies. Um, it's... It, the church, I mean, I say it's like the Churchill 3. It's kind of... It's like a Churchill 3 if a Churchill 3 was a medium. Uh, that made all of the sense. But you know what I mean? You can't... I mean, not like the Churchill 3 has amazing armor, but it's got a little bit of armor to rely on. This is more... this has got to be more sneaky, basically. But the armor is actually... it's good enough against lower tiers, as you will see. So... There we go, that KV-1 is out. That's one top tier heavy down, which is pretty good. We're 3-4 already, this is a, a fairly active battle, it wasn't very static, which is... Um, refreshing for Comorin. A lot of Comorin battles, especially at the higher tiers, tend to be very, very uh, slow-paced, basically. It's, it's a lot of uh, camping and hanging around. Now, this T-46, I think he was... Uh, I think I checked afterwards. He'd only had, like, a couple of hundred battles, but I, I predict good things for that guy, because he was p paying attention to what was going on around him, and um, actually, you know, he saw me retreating and thought, hmm, he's pulling back, maybe I should as well, so... I think that bodes well for that player. So there we go, there's the T-34 is spotted. Also a Panzer IV, who I'm laying down some hurt on. And look at the rate of fire. Well, this is why I like the 6-pounders. It, it's slightly less pen than the Churchill 6-pounder. It's 105 pen versus 110, I think it is. So it's not quite as good a gun, but it's good enough. And considering you've got that extra mobility compared to the Churchill, you can pull off some... You can, you can do things you couldn't do in the Churchill, basically. So, I feel more confident to go on the offensive now. It's two damaged same tier mediums versus me, who is full health. Done nearly... Uh, just just over... I was going to say... Uh, I've done nearly 1k damage. Well, 900 is nearly 1k, but it's... Why don't I just say it's just over 900? I don't know. Artillery puts one in the T-34, which is very useful for me, because so, I can do this. Now, this being a 6-pounder... Even with the uh, gun lane drive, <laughs> it reloads faster than the reticle can close, and it's not the most accurate gun either, so that can hurt, especially at longer ranges. But 
for closer ranges, for just pumping the fire into people, it's just funny. Hello, Panzer IV. Gotcha. Boom. There we go. Four kills. There might be a top gun on the cards if I'm quick enough. <laughs> Again, this T-46 is... Uh, I have a little helper, you guys. I have a little helper. So, we've... I mean, we've won this one fairly decisively. Not without uh, taking some damage ourselves, you know, as, as a team, but... 8-6, uh, that's pretty respectable. We're pretty much on the offensive now. And I'm just looking to see... Uh, oh, 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 hello. Scumbag, I think I will have that. Now I'm bouncing something. Uh, it's either going to be uh, a T-46 or... Well, actually, no, it will be the T-46. It's the Panzer 3A, because the T-46 is over on the other side. So, one arty down. If I can kill the 3A, that's a top gear. Top gear? <laughs> what? It's a top gun? <laughs> wow. See, a thing happened. I re-bought the Black Prince because some of the... Uh, well, the, the British tree is on discount at the moment, a lot of them. And my driver for the Black Prince, and this is absolutely true, is James May. Could that be any more appropriate? No. So I've got Top Gear on the brain for some for, for that reason. Oh, oh, come on! 68! That was a really low roll. No, he gets away. Okay, okay, Top Gun denied. Uh... But there's still a chance, there's a T-46 and a KV-1. Let's see if I can't get over there to put in some shots from... Um, you know, it's going to be harder because I'm further away, but there's still a chance. There's still a chance for the Top Gun. And I'm doing alright damage-wise. I've actually... you know, for, for the amount of Alpha, it's actually a pretty uh, reasonable amount of damage, I think. So, yeah. T-46, I can definitely hurt that. Oh... Come on, reticle, close, close. Yes, it goes in. And this is an 8.9 replay, otherwise, if it, this this had been a little more recent, if this had been 8.10, I could have just shot through the wall and had a guess, but no. So, T-46 gets killed by the Lee. Ooh, I need to get the KV-1, really, and it needs to be two shots unless I get a really high gun, uh, gun roll. Pen roll. Damage roll. One of those, one of those rolls. I rolled with bacon in it. Um, yeah, so there we go. It was alright. It was Top Gun denied, though. I was a little annoyed about that. But it was quite nice to see at the end, Mastery Badge. I don't think it's that hard to get the Mastery Badge in this thing, because not that many people play them. Like I said, it's not a common sight on the battlefield. And quite apart from the, um, the, the, the fact that it gets regular matchmaking, it is actually not a bad little tank. And as a, a crew trainer, you know, it's okay. So... In the end, five kills, 1,677 damage, and that netted me 1,647 XP, which doubled was over 3,000, so that was quite nice. It was a good result, and 50k profit as well. Even without premium, that would have been 32k profit. For a tier 5 premium, that's pretty good. Uh, that That's not to be complained about. If I'd done the same amount of damage in the Churchill 3, I don't think I'd have made that profit, or I might have, I don't know. Anyway, it was a pretty decent match, and I don't play it that often, but I don't regret buying it, especially as I bought it on discount. It's one of those ones that it's worth buying on discount. You might not want to buy it full price, but unlike the Excelsior and the T-14, you can actually... I think you can do a reasonable amount with this tank compared to those two. So, if you thought this was an interesting replay, you can hit the like button, you can leave a comment below, you can subscribe to my channel, and of course, as always, stay tuned for more.